you go through high school, everything is strictly like regulated. Yeah. Here's the here are the courses you have to take. Mm-hmm. Here are the scores you have to get in order yeah. to get your diploma, in order to graduate and qualify mm-hmm. to apply for university. Yeah. These are the things that the government deems as important for you to know. Right. That's what public school is. And then mm-hmm. or or private school is the same way because private mm-hmm. school is still dictated, still regulated by a curriculum that's true. That's got to be approved by a higher power, right? Mm-hmm. So then you go on to university and the first year and a half, two years of university is the same way. You have to learn these things. You have to complete these credits. You have to take these courses in order to qualify to choose for yourself. There's never a step where they teach you how to choose for yourself. Yeah. So then everybody gets through yeah. <laughs> those first few credit hours, mm-hmm. right? And then they have the freedom to choose anything they want. And they're mm-hmm. like, well, what do I choose? Yeah. I never thought of that before, that essentially you're finally granted the freedom to choose what you want to learn, Mm -hmm. but nobody ever teaches you how to choose what to learn. Exactly. And then oftentimes what people choose is something that they're just interested in without thinking about how are they going to make a living on the other side. Um, And so uh, the other day, actually, I was in the car listening to the radio and I heard a story about um, how many high schools now are uh, beefing up their vocational programs. Mm. So technical education, career focused education that um, you know that help students really focus on a hard skill. So like carpentry, yep. welding, um, uh, mechanics, mechanics, culinary yes. arts, yeah, co- yeah, makeup, and uh, and what's the fancy word for makeup? Cosmetology. Cosmetology. Yes. Yeah, you know, I remember. I went to a, I went to a rural school. I went to a rural mm-hmm. high school when I was in Pennsylvania. Yeah. And the two big pushes for all graduates, like the the guidance counselor had two rubber stamps, right? <laughs> yeah. You're either going to a vocational school, yeah. rubber stamp, or you're going to community college, rubber stamp, right? That was all that our guidance counselor had yeah. problems. My mom had I, this is a great story of my mom chewing out the guidance counselor. Yeah. Because my mom had ambition. Mm -hmm. And she wanted me to have ambition Mm -hmm. and she was pissed (laughs) when I came home and as a, as a junior or something. And I was like, well, mom, I'm either going to go to vocational school or or community college. And she was like, stamped me on my forehead. Like, no, you're going somewhere else. (laughs) (laughs) I can just picture your mom doing it. (laughs) But my point is, I mean, in rural parts of the world, of the country, vocational schools have always been something that they recommend to graduating students. But I've heard the same thing, that there's like a push now, not just in rural schools, Mm -hmm. but in in suburban schools, in inner city schools, like this push towards the vocational 